Even when I'm down Got my head in the clouds And my feet on the ground I got big dreams Gonna make them true Keep pushing forward It's all I can do Hi, and welcome to month four, video number two. Our theme this month is finding your message. And last week, I gave you some homework. <laughs> okay? Every day that you woke up, you looked yourself in the mirror, and you said, what is my message, or what do I have to say? Hopefully that went well for you, and I hope you had fun, and I hope you learned some things. This week, it's why that message. Sometimes, it's imp not sometimes, always, it's really important to know why we do things. And it's so funny that most people don't really think about it. They have an opinion and they just throw it out there. You know, it's like a paintball. It just splatters on a wall somewhere. When you speak with power and you speak with clarity and you speak with authority, people listen to your message. Remember I talked about last week how some people you just hear, wah, 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 wah. You do, they do not capture you at all. It's because they are not connected to their own message. When you're connected to your message, when it is from the heart, when it comes from a power base of your core values, belief system, and mission, people pay attention. They can't help it. You will own the room when you begin to speak, when you speak from this place. So I want you to begin to look at your message that you met or messages that you, that you spoke this last week. And I want you to ask yourself, why that message? What was it about? What did it mean? Okay. What was, what was so important about it? You know, uh, uh, why is it important for you to communicate this message? And then I want you to think about what your motivation was for communicating that message. That, <laughs> there you got to get really honest with yourself. Was it so you could be the big shot? Was it so you could influence someone and change their mind and bring them into your camp? It, it's all right either way. I'm just saying, think about it. The more clear you are, the more power you have. So if you know why that's your message, why it's important, and you know your motivation for bringing that message forward, you have greater clarity. Then we have the three question test. Is that message, number one, aligned with your core values? Number two, is it congruent with your beliefs? And number three, how does it support your mission? If your message lines up with those three things and you get a thumbs up straight across the board, you've got a good message, you've got a powerful message, and with some practice, you will be able to communicate that in a way where you will be absolutely compelling and people cannot help but listen to you and take in your message. If you don't have your core values identified yet, or your beliefs or your mission, we need to talk. Get in touch with me, Toby, at tobychristensen.com. Let's get you in the Genius Lab. If we spend four hours together, the amount of clarity that you will gain will be unbelievable. And once you have that down, all of the things that I'm talking about in terms of your message will make way more sense. Your power level will increase significantly because your clarity will be increased. The more clear you are, the more power you have. So for the coming week, I want you to think why this message, what is important about it, and what is my motivation for bringing this message to the public? And then run it through the three question test. Is it in alignment with my core values? Is it congruent with my beliefs? And is it, uh, and how does it support my mission? That ought to keep you busy for the week. Thank, thank you for watching this video. And if you have any questions, remember you can contact me at toby at tobychristensen.com. Oh yeah, we're looking up.